Well, guys, episode three of Juice on the PS2. Let's go. So we are upgrading our Punto that we got from TK in the last episode, and we have given it a bit of a change up here, just adding a bit of color to it, and really giving you got like showing you guys again just the customization in in the game. Which I mean, I said before, it's it's, it's not too bad, and like not many games had neon back in the day. I know like Need for Speed Most Wanted didn't have neon and that was the Need for Speed I played and if Need for Speed Most Wanted didn't have neon I don't think the older Need for Speeds would have had neon. I could be completely wrong. So who knows. We're doing we're doing a sprint race against Biggie. A quick sneaky 4k bet and we he is in a I forget what car he's in. I can't really tell what car he's in but it doesn't matter what car he's in because we're in the golf and the golf is going to absolutely blitz everybody and because of that we're not even going to show every single heat we're going to go straight to the third heat because like i said in the last episode if you win the first heat there's a good chance at the anyway at the lower classes that you're going to win the first heat when trust me when we get to the to the later stages you'll see how crazy it is and this we came second we didn't we didn't hardly use our nos till the very end we still come second we smashed Biggie. We can now race at Biggie's place at his at his events, which is which is great. So we're still we're still trying to level up a bit. We're in another sprint now against Sue with her focus, and this is the same as the last one. We're skipping straight to the third heat, and you guessed it, we are going to beat her. We didn't. I didn't even want to use Nossi, uh, and apparently I now do. Because if you that, that's the thing, even on this game, if you and I still win, and I didn't use the Nos till the end. If you don't use an OS, you don't have to repair your car at all in a sprint race. But you'll see, well, that's twenty grand. That's not that's not bad. Now we've got seventy thousand. Yeah, so you'll see. Or oh, we can also race at Papa's Papa's place. The that dude, that guy, upgrading our GTI. I didn't. I skipped the bit where you can repair your car. But if you don't use any NOS, you don't have to repair your car. But if, if your car doesn't get damaged and you use NOS, you still have to pay five hundred dollars to repair your car, which really isn't that big of a deal but still at the start of the game you know you're low on money i mean i say that at the start of the game you're low on money but here i am modding modding the car but you know you can't go out with a, with a shitty car and crew members are a big thing in this game which i which i forgot to mention and we actually give amber a go here in the ponto we you know just showing off the whole crew member aspect and i'm pretty confident that the ponto is going to win because it just has such high acceleration maybe against the golf it probably wouldn't win but the it's too good. The Punto is too good. Like if, like if I was drag racing against the Punto, it would win. But the Punto against the AI is is just going to destroy you, as you can see. So after this sprint race, we're looking. You know, it's, we've been progressing fairly well, I guess. Not doing too bad. And the crew members there, as you can see, they're they're pretty inconsistent. It's really weird. They're only good when you have them in high. As you can see on the bottom there, they have low, medium, or high. And higher is basically they try the hardest, and low they don't try as hard at all. But the only way they use their nos and actually try and fucking go around the corners is in high, which is a bit frustrating. But I mean, it's it's okay. It's it's not too bad. We're doing another sprint race of Amber again with the Punto here, and hopefully, you know, we can get another win. Which would be great. I was about to say, did I cut, did I edit this and put the wrong, like another sprint race in here? I was so confused for a second. But this one is in the daytime. The previous one was at night. And also the cool thing is, as you can see, you can switch the camera angles, which I oh know is fun. Just because we already know the Punto's going to win, we might as well check out, you know, the rest of the cars. And you know, Amber's done well. Two, two races, two wins, all good. Now, you saw the 600. We can pink slip Biggie. And I believe we do very shortly, but first we're going to we're messing around with the, with the Punto here. We're trying to get it to as high as the top of Class 8 as we can, and we're sort of in a tricky situation. But we manage it, but looks of things, I brought the horsepower down, and now we are at 192, which is, you know, between 190 and 199, you're looking pretty good. And look, and looking like we're maxed, we've maxed out our Punto, I'm putting all level three parts on probably besides turbo because the turbo just raises your horsepower ridiculously so we've got the pink slip against biggie a sprint race here's the thing 
I think we should go all out. Race for pinks. You want to? Can't think when I last won a bet, but you know... Can't think when you last won a bet, Jesus. It's not really a good start at all, is it, Biggie? But he has an Integra, which isn't... It's, it's not a bad car. And I was slightly concerned, but... The Golf, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's probably... It is. It's, it's the best car. It's the best car in the game. In, well, for Class 8, I mean, obviously... If you guys have played this game, you'd know that the, the Dodge Viper is... Look, I'm, I'm that confident, and then I was like, are you sure it's on hard difficulty? Because this seems too easy. Because I knew the Integra was a good car, but obviously the, the Golf golf just blitzes. But yeah, oh, I forgot. yeah, so the Dodge Viper, if you, yeah, if you know this, this game, you know the Dodge Viper is by a mile the best car in the game. Like it's, like it's just too good compared to every other car. If you put any other car up against it, it's just gonna, it's gonna get destroyed. There's, there's no competing it. And you'll see when we get into the class one races, just how ridiculous it is and how crazy it is to control. I should not be surprised. The book tells us when we stray from the path, we can lose it all. Those wheels are the price of my sins. That collection is good. I never really realized Big E's more of a, um, a philosophical type of guy. Like a, he's a, he's a practicing, um, Christian, maybe. Well, who knows what um, religion he is, but he's very high in the religion, which I never noticed before until now, because, you know, most of the time, you usually just skip through everything. And I believe that was a prototype mod race. I think mean, I'm going too quick for my own good here, but if it is for the prototype mods, that's really exciting, because we're going to unlock prototype mods for the golf. But it went too quick for me to see. But as you can see, good chance we're going to get it or maybe not. As you can see, the punt, the puntos. You gotta be careful of the punto, man. It's fucking, it's quick. Now we're trying to get even with Marie here. Hopefully, we can get this prototype mod. I think <laughs> it's for prototype mods. We gotta be careful of this punto, man. It's sometimes it's got some acceleration, and what do you do? All you have to do is cut in front of it, and then you've basically won. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Maria. No way. Just cut in front of you. Do those dirty tactics. But yeah, if, yeah. So. There you go, Punto nearly competes with the Golf, and we've won $10,000, yeah, that is definitely a prototype mod, and we've won the bet with Biggie. Well now, I can't say I'm surprised. You had the better wheels. His religion didn't help him there. Yeah, we've won the prototype mod for, I believe, uh, now this could be really bad for the comments. I think that's like a, actually, I'm not, I'm not even going to say what part, what part that is. Maybe it looks bad for not knowing what part it is, but either way, that prototype part that we've added has bumped us up to class 7, which isn't ideal because we had to go push back down in one of our other parts, which is a little bit annoying. And we've got into a race here, a point to point, by all sorts of things, with Biggie. We were making a bet with Biggie, we're really just betting with Biggie every single time and taking him down. We're taking all his, his money. He's, he's definitely going to turn to religion now. He's just losing hope completely. And we're trying to win, win this prototype mod for the Punto. And luckily we got the really quick acceleration so we can get out the front at the start and hopefully we can, we can win this. They're putting the pressure on us and because I'm really bad at turning, I, re I really stuffed it up. But we've used up all our NOS trying to get around Sue here and she's, that's what's happened. She's, she's, she's taken us down. I mean, the, the way, the AI, like the cars are really like, I feel like you're like as light as a feather the car you control and then like the cars you're racing against are like it's like a, it's like a feather versus a brick as you can as you just saw there she just she just nudged me and i spun out but when you try and touch them they just stick to the track like glue which is a little, which is a little bit annoying but you know it's okay we won the bet with biggie which is the main thing sue is not happy as <laughs> against she's not happy we lost a lot just then and we're going for another prototype mod are we going to use the Punto? Uh, what, what car do we use? We use the GTR. The Punto annoyed us too much. And now this is a circuit race. And we'll see how we go here. We've got Maria's in, in the Punto right there. And from memory, this was a, a pretty close race. Once you get into, you know, start doing the prototype races and stuff to win the prototype mods to upgrade the car, the tracks start to change. You get a few different tracks and it gets a little bit more difficult 
but we seem to be having quite the lead here at the moment. Maria with the Punto is right behind us. That Punto man, it's good. It's well, I feel like the, the AOI is better at controlling the Punto than me. But the prototype mods obviously are really good because you can upgrade your car and, and go quicker. But like before with, with the GTI, before I had to go down in some of the in another part to stay in that class because the the not the Punto, the Golf that I'm driving right now is is no good any class besides class eight. So we're trying to max it out as much as we can in class in class eight and hopefully make it a prototype car which makes it even cooler. But we really Maria's really putting the pressure on us here going going around these corners right now. And we've skipped to the second lap because she seemed to put the pressure on us the whole time and she actually ended up overtaking us and we're we're miles ahead. It's just it's a race between myself and Maria and the Punto. And and it's really weird, like how a little nudge causes causes damage, like it, it loses respect just just for giving them a nudge. But they they nudge you, and like there's no like you know what I mean. Like I, I guess you can't really get your respect up, but it's just it's just really annoying. Like even that little nudge did it cause damage? Yeah, it's like come on, she tried to overtake me. Like like what do you want from me? But she's really putting the pressure on here, and she's she's sort of running away from it. Hopefully we can we can catch back up. The Punto. He's not as quick as the Golf. It's just got much better acceleration, and if you can drive, it's you know it's really good. But hopefully we can catch it here on the straight. Unless she she still has a NOS, and I don't think I've ex I've explained the the ex explanation ex exclamation mark that is above her head that just then. That means like the driver is like like the driver's like under pressure and got more chance of spinning out. As you can see, she's got the exclamation mark now, so she might go. She might cause an error like. I'd force her to, to make an error or she just drives slower and I just take her around the outside and hopefully we come up to the last corner now I think we I think we might take this race I'm pretty sure from memory it's weird because I play through the whole game so I'm sort of struggling to remember if we win and it looks like we have won and it also looks like that is the end of, of episode 3 I hope you guys enjoyed there's a link down below for the previous episodes and if you're watching this in the future there's a link down below for all the episodes so I'll see you guys on the next one